guys welcome to overall edc and today we got my five most carried knives of 2023 let's get to it we're starting off with my least to most carried knife so first one is the mk masanzo um i like this knife a lot it still gets in my, out of my pocket a bunch but not as much as it used to uh, i'm a big fan of micarta for some reason i just really like it so i'm pretty sure this is black canvas micarta scales a uh, nice liner lock m390 hawkbill blade uh, i thought it'd be cool to get the hawkbill blade but i realized how much it's a pain to sharpen i don't like that so that's one reason but it's not a bad knife at all it got a cool little lanyard bead to match the handle really really cool this thing was 100 bucks but it's it's just a great knife just i don't find myself carrying it as much anymore uh same with the cbv elementum i used to carry this thing a bunch it's like 50 bucks great budget knife but i mean <laughs> it's it's a solid knife for that price like why not carry it out I, I don't find anything wrong with it p2 steel drop point blade and it has macara scales too uh nice liner lock three action not too bad of a knife um it doesn't really it doesn't really get in my pocket as much either now uh, so these two are kind of tied i don't i can't exactly place it right now but i tried to I just got this knife, the Kaiser Original. Um, this button lock, really nice, really solid. 154 CM drop point blade, double side thumb studs. This button lock, aluminum scales, really, really nice, really solid knife. Uh, this thing was 70, probably like almost $80, but it's a great little knife. Uh, I've been carrying the heck out of it since I got it. And this is also maybe tied with the Gerber. I I don't I haven't I don't really numbered my knives at all too much with how much I carried it before. So it can be a little hard. I got a lot of knives. Um, next one we got is the Gerber Icon. So yes, this thing's like thirty bucks. Yes, but it's a really 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 solid knife. Really good hard use knife, and I've been using the absolute crap out of this thing, and it's held up to everything I put it through. It has a nice thick tanto blade with partial serrations, nice grippy thumb studs. Uh, has aluminum scales with a nice inlay. Has great ergos. It's just a solid little knife. It's, it's sadly discontinued, but if you can find one, I highly recommend it for a hard use knife. I mean. It's only 30 bucks. I know it's harder to get, but I'm not worrying about breaking this thing. It's just a knife I've been finding myself carrying when I go to work and do other stuff like that. I can I can depend on that thing for any hard to use stuff I need to do. Okay, my final one. It's a 535 bench when we bug out. I modified this thing a bunch. It's all still made in the USA with all the parts I got. So I I liked it before. Uh, I modify it, but I guess it just made me like it a lot more when I put these modifications on because technically I just made it exactly how I wanted it, so so it doesn't make me like it a lot more. So as some insane laser engraved black linen, my card scales like cheese, and then it has a laser engraved titanium pocket clip with a satin finish, and I got the these aftermarket parts from dna lasering they did a really good job i mean the one complaints the freaking access lock keeps breaking but i still love the knife for some reason it's a nice light edc knife nice thin blade this is a s30v drop point blade really smooth not too bad but yeah so that was my top five most carried knives let's go to a couple knives that just kind of stopped making it in my pocket for a little bit. So I carry multiple types of knives. I'll carry inexpensive and expensive knives. So, I mean, like this one. I used to carry the CQCA Emerson knife just until I got this thing. I realized this thing is maybe a little better. I know this thing's like 200 bucks. Uh, I got this thing at a garage sale for like, I don't know, probably 10. But still, I mean, it's a great knife, great little solid knife. I realized the detent ball is really messed up on this thing, so there's no detent at all. That's one default for this for me. Uh, it's probably not like that for everybody else. It has G10 scales, titanium liner lock, 154 CM clip point blade. Um, 
I mean, it's a, it's a nice little, nice big knife, but I don't know. It just doesn't make it in my pocket as much. So the next knife that doesn't really make it in my pocket as much is an OTF knife here. It's called the Cobrac OTF knife, I guess. Um, it's a great knife. Um, just doesn't make it in my pocket as much. Check your loss first before you get one, though. I like it a lot. It's a D2 steel stiletto dagger blade. Not too bad. Aluminum scales. Nice engravings on there. Not too bad. It's a little knife. Just it's a heavier knife. I tend to carry like to carry lighter knives. Next one here is the Kershaw RJ Tactical 3.0. This thing's like 40 bucks. Neon handle. Um, this is RJ Martin design knife. Nice thin blade. Just doesn't make it in my pocket as much, but still a great little knife. And the next one, probably the most budget knife you could find, the Gerber Pledge here. Man, this actually impressed me. It's cheap, 20 bucks at Walmart. Comes with a multi-tool too, I'm pretty sure. But, I mean, not too bad of a knife. Nice thin blade, nylon handle too. I mean, this thing's a great little knife, especially if you're going to the store just to grab one get that i recommend it but yeah that is my top five carry knives of 2023 and those past ones were ones i used to carry but not as much so thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe share this with friends who would also like these knives and i hope to see you guys on my next video so i'll see you guys later